Hey everyone. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use a packet capture filter to capture just a particular OUI and also just multicast frames. So let's rip into it. Okay, to start off, I'm just gonna start a simple packet capture. And there's not much going on here. So what I'll do is I'll just SSH the server to get some unicast TCP in there. And that'll do. So I'll have a look at this now and we're gonna have a look at the MAC addresses. So you can see most of this for an app, it's a broadcast. And wherever I did that SSH, you can see that it's unicast. So down here for the Ethernet part, the first thing in this frame is the destination MAC. So you can see it's the first part of the data captured is the, the Ethernet MAC. So if I go, let's start one of the broadcasts. So an ARP's a broadcast, so its destination is all Fs. You can see this bit here that's set to 1. Now to explain what I'm kind of looking at here, this is the exact data. So all the Fs here is the destination MAC address. That's the first thing you see on, on this frame. The first byte of it, you can see this particular bit here is the IG bit. So I means individual, so it's a unicast, and G means it's a group, so it's for more than one. And you can see this bit is set, which means it's a group address. And it even tells you here, that can be multicast or broadcast. So you can see this is a broadcast. So that part of the address, because obviously the binary maps to the hex here, that bit's set to a one. So the least significant bit of that first byte, if that's a one, then it's a group address. And there's nothing more specific about that being multicast or broadcast, it just means it is a group address. So if I go down to where the SSH was, which was unicast, you'll see that's a zero. So that's, it says it right there, unicast, because it's an individual address. So that least significant bit of the first byte determines whether it's unicast or group. Right, now what I've got here is just an old 8 port 100 meg dumb switch. It's got no management whatsoever. But what it will do when it sees that bit set, the one that says it's a group frame, it'll flood it out all the ports as though it's a broadcast. Because as you saw, it doesn't make a difference whether it's multicast or broadcast. If it sees that bit set, it'll send it out all the ports. Now modern switches in their default condition will also do the same thing. They'll just send uh, multicast out of all the ports for the same reason. Except modern switches are a bit smarter and they can look a bit further into it to see if it does have that multicast OUI. But anyway, that's what they look at when these things flood the ports like a broadcast. Now I'll start that again, and there is a capture filter called multicast, but I'll show you something about it. See, it's a valid filter, that's why I can start it. But you'll see broadcast is still coming in. That's because all that checks is if this bit's hit set here, and that could mean a broadcast, which you can see it obviously does. I mean, there's a multicast there. It will obviously include the multicast, but it also gets broadcasts. Now, there's also another one you could have here called broadcast, and that will just capture the broadcast without the multicasts. So I can start a multicast stream and you won't see it. Now, according to the rules, a multicast address for IPv4 starts with 01005E, and for IPv6, it starts with 3333. So I need to make it only look for things that start with that. So I'm gonna do that. So back at the start, actually I'll just do a capture so you've got a rough idea how this works. So the first, as you saw, the first six bytes is the destination MAC address of a frame. The next, well, let me do that one there. The next six bytes are the source MAC address of the frame. So those, that's the first part of this whole thing and the MAC addresses of what's going on. So if I only want to see things that are destined to a multicast, I want to, I want to define what's in these first six bytes. So that's what I'm going to do with a filter. Now the rules for a Wireshark capture filter are the same as for TCP dump. And to find what they are, you can just do man for the uh, lib pcap, so pcap, oh, pcap filter. And here, is the here are the rules, however, it can be a bit daunting to say the least. So what I want to, I don't even know, it must be in here somewhere. I don't know, fuck, I'll just tell you. What you want to do is define stuff. So if I just do TCP dump, that'll show you know everything like before. TCP dump, what I want to do is have a, have a definition here saying starting at the first byte, which is obviously zero, and so that's the offset. The offset is zero, as you saw in Wireshark. Actually, what I'll do, I'll just bring up Wireshark with a multicast frame so you can see where I'm going with this. So according to the rules, the destination OUI, which is the first part of the MAC address, is 01005E. That means IPv4 multicast. And obviously that bit is gonna be set to one for the group address. So what I wanna do, this is byte zero. I wanna start at zero and make it zero one, zero zero five E. 
Okay, so I'll try and show you. TCP dump. What I want to do is an Ethernet frame, and I want to define the offset. So how far off zero I'm starting. Well, this is the first byte here, so it's, it starts at zero. And one is how many uh, bytes that I'm going to match here. So I'm going to match one byte starting off at zero, so the first byte. And I want to make that equal to the hex value of zero one, which is what it is here. So anything that's zero one will be there. Now that, that probably matched some multicast as you can see there, but I want to be more specific. So I want to do that and ether. Now this time I'm starting off at the second byte. So that's byte one from the start, if that makes sense, because we start at zero. So one byte and two values. So that's the next two bytes, zero and zero, zero and five E. So that's what I want to make them equal to. So it equals uh, hex zero, zero, five E. So that's the multicast MAC address. So you'll see, sorry, the multicast OUI. So you'll see all multi multicast stuff will hit that. If I start my little uh, video again, you'll see it pissing in there. So heaps of it, I'll just stop that. And it'll stop because it did IGMP because everything works around my network. So that's that. Now you might say, well, why didn't I just do three bytes here? Like define it in general here. So. Like it would have been nice if I could have just done 01005E. However, it likes to be in multiples of one, two, and four. That's why I couldn't do that. So I had to do a one and then a two. I could have done two and one, I suppose, but you get why I did that. So now that you know the filter, this thing here, you can see how I constructed it. What I can do back in Wireshark, I can make that the capture filter. So if I start that, it'll be the same thing because it's the same library. So again, if I start video, you'll see it pouring in here. Oop, people walking the old dish liquor. So that's that. Now, if I don't do IPv6, my little American mate, Mike, you might get upset with me. So you get the process now. I better tell you what IPv6 is. Remember back in the rules, IPv6 starts with 3333 for multicast. So in this instance, I'm only concerned with two bytes. So I can do starting at zero for two bytes worth, make that equal to, hex uh, 3333. So now we should see IPv6 multicast and I'll just copy that, copy that. Okay, so what I'll try and do is just ping something like that and you'll see, it doesn't exist by the way, but you'll see it's trying to do neighbor solicitation, kind of like IPv6 is ARP, but it's multicast. So you can see that the filter works and that's really all I'm trying to show you here because I don't really run IPv6 anymore. So that filter's good, but remember, that's only the destination MAC address. So when multicast comes in, I'll just start the video, boom, boom, boom. You'll see that's for the destination Mac. But what if I wanted to match the source OUI? Well, that's the next bunch of bits, but I'll, I'll use a camera direct for that. So I've got number one here covered in shit, and number one around here, and a few more. So they'll all have the same OUI. Okay, so those SWAN cameras, if I just want to see what their OUI is, I'll just ping one of them, 10.81, there it is. So now IP neighbor show 192.168.10.81, there's its MAC address. And if I do the same with 83, 84, bunch of cameras that I've got around, and I show their ones, 83, 84, you'll see they all start with this. So that's the OUI for those SWAN cameras. So back here, you know, you get a little fucking thing here, pause it, BC51FE. FE, BC, 51 FE. So this will match, but only in one of the directions. So the ping request coming from me to it, because it's the destination which has that, that OUI. That's why Wireshark's whinging that there's no reply to it. Okay. So what I want to do is put it in twice. So what I'll do, if I wanted to catch the other side, as I said, this first byte starts at zero, blah, 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 for the first bit. I want to start with this offset here, which you can see down the bottom where my mouse currently is. Just keep looking down the bottom. As I go over here, you'll see when I start this, it's bytes six to 11, but I only want the bytes six to eight. So bytes six to eight, I want to match with this. So instead of going from that, I'm going to go from six. And instead of one, I'm going to go seven. So it gets me by six, seven, and eight that match that. So now if I did that, you'll only see the replies. 
and I start pinging it. So you can see the replies. Okay, so all I want to do now is put both of those in there. Okay, so back on the capture filter, this is what I was just using for the destination MAC address, which starts at zero for one byte and then starts at one for two bytes. What I want to do is I want all of that still, but I also, you know, want the option of or if it is, and I'll just copy paste it, instead of starting at zero, I'm going to start at six. And instead of starting one here, I'm going to start at seven. So that should be the source or the destination if it matches. And now you can see the ping requests and replies are there only for that MAC address. So that's how you can filter for OUI. It seems a bit daunting, but it lets you construct things other way. And I really just wanted to show you how this offset and value works. That's really what I was trying to do here. Okay, so there it is. That's how you do an OUI capture filter on Wireshark or TCP dump. Now, I wanted to show you it a bit in depth like I did, so to show you how it's constructed so you can manipulate it further. You can actually go down to bit level. I was only doing bytes there, but you can go down to bit level if you want, but I think that'll be for another video if, if it comes to that. Anyway, that'll do for now. Till next time, take it easy.